morning, guys. Let's just start this again. Let's <laughs> start from tripos. Take the tripos, please. And keep your arm by your side. Or extend them forward. Up to you. What do you want to do? Bring your heels together, sit on your heels. Keep on breathing through your nose. In the down exhale. Relax your chest, breathe. Push forward with your arms. Send your tailbone farther back, open side of the rib cage with the your palms on the ground nicely, fingers wide open. Drop your head down and breathe. Roll your toes back, follow your feet on the ground, knees off the ground. From all the way up, take it down dog. Hold it. Bend your knee, knees down on the ground, take child pose, arms extended again, sit on your heels, breathe deep. Knees off the ground, try to bum up, take child pose, take down dog, down child pose. Knees down on the ground again. Sit on your heel. With your arms, walk to your left side. Hold and breathe. Walk back to the center. Walk to the other side all the way. Hold and breathe through your nose. And keep it. Center again. Take the down dog again one more time. Your arms walk back to your toes. Go forward. Grab opposite elbows there. Knees are straight and keep on breathing deep. Let go of it, palms on the ground, walk forward again to down dog. Bend your knees all the way to try it, pose. Walk to your left side all the way. The center, walk to the other side. Keep on breathing, keep on breathing. Walk back to the center again, with knees off the ground. Back to down dog. Walk back with your arms again. Go forward, grab opposite elbows there. From 
hands on the ground, walk forward, back to down dog, bend your knees, back to child pose again. Down dog again, please. Keep on breathing. Walk back with your arms all day. Grab opposite elbows again. Knees are straight. Rise your sit bones up. Breathe deep. Toes are grabbing the ground heavy. Open your arms. Come up all the way. Big inhale arms. Exhale arms back to your side. Stand tall again, one more time, inhale, arms up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward, palms on the ground. Inhale, look up, take the legs back. Pose a high plank, pose your head down. Slowly lower yourself to the ground. Cobra left all the way, toes pointing back. Hold it, three. Chest to the ground. Lift the cobra one more time. Nice, deep in here. Hold, hold, hold. Chest to the ground. Back to cobra left again. Three, three, three. Heels closer together, toes reaching back. Stomach muscles engaged, elbows reaching back. Fingers wide open, palms down to the ground. Lower yourself down to the ground. We can two more. Lift yourself up. Four engage, breathe. Squeeze the glute, breathe. Lower yourself down. Come to high plank pose again. Take a downward facing dog. Come to high plank pose. Lower yourself slowly to the ground. Back to cobra left. Lower yourself to the ground. High plank pose. Change it to downward facing dog. Keep on breathing, keep on breathing, keep on breathing. Come to high plank pose. Lower yourself all the way to the ground. Cobra lift one more time. Breathe. Back to the ground. To high plank pose one more time. Take a downward facing dog. High plank pose. Slowly lower yourself to the ground one more time. Back to cobra left all the way. Oh. Lower yourself to the ground all the way. Bring arms under your torso. Chin to the floor. Gonna lift both legs if it's too much. Lift one leg if it's too much, just be there. If you're lifting both legs, put your forehead on the floor to, um, like, say, to the spine, the neck, and then lift. Keep on breathing. Let go of it. Back to high plank pose. Back to down dog all the way. Hold that breathe. Come to high plank pose. Lower yourself down. Press cobra left. Lift yourself up. Lower yourself down. Palms under your body. 
palms flat on the floor. I'm just gonna rock over to my right side, my left arm's underneath. Try to get your elbow underneath your ribs. Okay, to the other side, palms are wide and flat. If I'm lifting both legs, forehead on the mat. And then I lift up using mid back strength, pushing my palms to the floor as I lift my legs up. Good, down to the ground, free your arms, come up to high plank pose again. Take a dumb dog right after that. So I feel lots of tension on the elbow, more traction than tension actually, and creating a lot of blood flow. So you should be feeling lots of things going on around the elbow joint. One more time, come to high plank pose, lower yourself up, ready? <laughs> Come up all the way to Cobra. This is working a lot of the low back, low back strength here. Neck is neutral. Chin is neutral. Lower yourself down. Arms under your body. Palms together. This is working more mid back strength. Deep spine muscles. Lift your legs off the ground. Nice stretch to the elbow. Don't hold your breath. Lower your legs down, to your arm. Come back to high for night pose. Take a down dog. I recommend doing that. Uh, leg lifts with the arms under your torso every day. Walk back with your arms. Go forward. Keep on breathing, keep on breathing, keep on breathing. Try to again. soften your neck. Don't let your head stay in an extension, your neck in extension. Keep your head relaxed, top of the head hanging towards the floor. Open your arms, come up all the way, big in it. Exhale, arms back to your side. Inhale, arms up, palm together. Exhale, keep the lift, bring your arms down. Bring your right leg, knee, right leg, knee to your chest. Hold it there momentarily, keep on breathing. Bring your foot inside of your thigh, standing three pose. Bring your arms up, palm together. See if we can stand there, breathe. If it's too much, just keep the balance going and breathe. I'm going to launch forward all the way to the same thing you have again. Hold it and breathe, hold it and back leg, peel off the ground. Reach back for the wall behind you, keep on breathing. Back to the center. Step your back leg forward all the way. Stand tall. Exhale, arms back to your side. Inhale, arms up, palm ticket. Exhale, fall forward, palm under. Inhale, look up, take your legs back all the way. Slow down, come up to up dog, inhale, exhale down. <clears throat> Walk back with your arms. Go forward. 
Go on your arms, come up all the way, big inhale. Keep the left arm back to your side. Bring the knee to your chest, other side we go in. Arms up, palms together, hold it. Turn it threefold. Oh. Lock forward all the way. Reach back for the wall behind. Back to your center. Stand tall. So fold forward, palms on the ground. Inhale, look up, take your legs back. Go down, and up the again, head. Exhale, down, down. Walk back again with your arms. Fold forward. Open your arms, come up all the way, big inhale. With your right leg, lunge forward all the way. Reach forward with your arms. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. Keep both sides of your ribcage open. Keep on breathing. Push your back leg heel away. Stretch back of your back leg in. Bottom chest trying to point up the ceiling. Push your elbow to your knee to enhance that rotation. Opening arms is another option you have now. Look down on the ground, palms on the ground. Take your leg back, slow down. Up to again, head. Exhale, down. Walk back with your arms. Fold forward. Open your arms, come up all the way, big inhale, palms touching. Exhale, arms back to your side, keep the lift. Bring the other knee to the chest, launch forward. Bring opposite elbow to your knee. Opening arms is another option you have again. Look down on the ground, arms on the ground. Take your legs back. Slow down, up to again here. Exhale down. Bend your knees, knees down on the ground. Take a child pose one more time. With your arms, walk to your left side. Come back to your center. Walk to the other side, all the Back to the center again. Come to high plank pose again. Right leg in front, palm that stays on the ground. Got the spider man launch pole. Gonna turn and twist over the front knee, hold it and breathe. See if you can reach back for the wall behind you, hold and breathe.
reach forward with your arm. See, we can bring the other palm to reach, reach forward. Bring opposite elbow to your knee one more time. You need to push your back leg further back with the time to do it. Keep on breathing. Look down on the ground, palms on the ground. Take the legs back. Slow down, up leg in here. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, knees down on the ground, back to child pose. Come to high plank pose again. Other leg in front, other side. Turn and twist over the front. Knee, deep. Reach back for the wall behind with your arm. Keep on breathing. Reach deeper, reach deeper, reach deeper. Bring forward, all the way this forward. Palm together. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. Twist deep. Keep on breathing. Look down on the ground, palms on the ground. Take your leg back. Slow down, up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees down to the ground all the way. Take a child pose. In child pose, see if you can straighten your foot directly behind. Don't let your toes turn in. So your toes are reaching directly back and then press along the top of the big toe bone. Come to high plank pose again. Turn to your left, uh, bend, turn to your left side, bend the bottom leg knee to the ground. Keep the top leg open to the side. See, we can bend your knee back to grab your toe, chest lifting, kick back. We have done this on the stomach. Balance is very required here. Breathe deep. Release it. Just down on the ground. Keep the opposite arm off the ground. Reach forward. Bend your leg one more time to grab it. Kick back, lift. Keep on breathing. Let go of it. Knee down on the ground. Take a child pose one more time. Come to high plank pose again. Go to your side, other side you're going, of course, knee down, bottom leg down, top leg open, toe. Bend your knee back, see if you can grab your toes, grab your top of your foot, kick back, chest lifting, hold, breathe. Gently let go of it. Arm down on the ground, leg is still off the ground. Opposite arm reaching forward. Bend your leg back one more time. See if you can grab and kick back again. Let go of it. Down on the ground, take charge for one more time. Walk to your left side nicely, let your spine get manipulated to the side. Breathe. Back to the center. Walk to the other side, keep on breathing deep. Back 
to the center again. Come to high plank pose, take down dog. Bend your knees, knees down on the ground. Sit on your heels. See, we can even sit between your legs if you have it in you. Arms up, palms together. Bend to your left side and lift and breathe. Back to your center. To the other side. Back to your center again, please. You're gonna make a circle and breathe with the arm reach and the slow move. Go one, from breathe. Change the direction. The draw it. See, we can reach back with your chest, lift all your chest lifting, with your head reach back. See, we can go on your elbows. See, we can go all the way on your back. Bring your knees close to each other as best as you can and do it gently. Come back to your center. Sit on the ground. We're gonna sit and we're gonna it's like our leg in a box formation. I'm just gonna cross my leg behind me and then send my bum back. So if you can try to get your knee and hip in one long line, you don't want your knee too far out. And then you want to keep your ankle and your bottom knee in one line. And I'm always going to keep my ankle flexed if my knee's bent. Because it just helps stabilize the knee. Now your top leg, if you have it in you, you're going to bring your top ankle on top of your bottom knee. And try to get your top knee in line with your uh, hip. And then just notice what the spine's doing. Probably going to feel like an accordion closing down. You're going to feel like everything's shrinking because you're stretching the hips. But from here, if you can try to focus on lengthening the spine, relaxing the shoulders so you feel like the string on the top of the head is pulling you up, string on the tailbone is pulling you down, try to create that length, try to come more forward. You may feel like the knees are going to lift. That's okay. Spine length has to happen first in order to ease the peripheral body, the joints of the limb. So work on that lengthening the spine, chin in, breath will start to get all crazy, mind will start to go nuts, but just try to focus on the inhale, and as you exhale, the body relaxes. It may not happen today, but it will eventually happen if you just try to work in difficult situations with your inhale, and your exhale. The three side, take it to the other side separately. You can start with your legs length and maybe shake them out. So whatever leg is on the top is now going to be on the bottom. Again, make sure ankle is flexed, knee is in line with hip, more in line than you think you should. And don't let this foot come back. The foot has to, the heel and knee have to be in line. Why? Because we're just working on the joints this way. We're not sitting fully cross-legged. Both ankles flexed, notice the spine, might want to collapse because you're stretching your hips, the nerves are being stressed, right? 
So you're just going to have to focus on the inhale, spinal length, chin in, neck is long. Exhale, just hold that length. Don't let the body, don't let the spine collapse. Just ignore the limbs, their pain, they're calling for you. But focus on the inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hold and create an ease in the body. You might notice that you want to sit on your back of your spine bone. So you come to your bum bone. Those bony marks underneath the flesh of your glute muscle, you want to sit on those, right on the tip of the tailbone. So don't lock onto that sacral bone. When you do these things, the spine collapses and you lock, it's because of tension. So you have to gather spinal length first in order to ease the limbs. Nervous system has to stretch in the cord and the brain before it can stretch in the limbs. So you can cross your legs in front of you, lock onto all fours, step back to high plank. Right in front, on top, on together. I think we're coming to a warrior one. Okay, warrior one. Back heel on the mat. Warrior one. For bone alignment, it's nice if your front heel can meet to your back heel. And then you can start to square the hips a bit better. Make sure that you're not overarching the back. There's a bit of a hollow body connection. And arms up. Palms on the ground. Take your legs back. Go down, not bending. Legs up on the off. Other leg in front. Arms up, arms up. Up on the ground, keep the legs back, slow down, up again, legs are done dog. Come to high plank pose again. Turn to your left side all the way and hold it there for a long time. Really. You can keep top leg open if you want to. You just grab the big toe if you want to. Hold it and breathe. Back on the ground. Down, up the head. Exhale, don't go. Come to high plank. Take it to the other side. Up the open and breathe. Lower, on the ground, slow down, up the in head, take the top. Put the palm on the ground, bring your right leg in front. The spider man lunge. Turn up the right angle. So right angle, you're gonna pivot your back foot at 45 degree angle. Front heel and arch intercept. Your option is to keep your arm palm on the floor and then open the fan, open through the chest, pop up reaching, rotation of neck. You can also bring elbow to knee, but try not to lean on that knee. Try to create that nice leg, core strength to hold you up. Make sure that your bum and hips aren't jutting back. You're trying to keep hip bone and knee in line. So don't let your bum come back. Externally rotate through that front thigh. Externally rotate through the back thigh. Come back up all the way to warrior two. Same down low. 
bind your hand together, arm bind. So you can inhale, arms up. You're going to swing your right arm under your left. And then try to wrap forearms, maybe wrists, maybe interlock, interlock your fingers. Lift your elbows up and pull your forearms away from you. I'm just going to take a back bend, keep the front knee in the bend. Chest lifting, body bending back. Keep on breathing. Back to the center. Unravel. Back to warrior two. Arms on the ground, keep the leg back. Go down. Inhale. And take it to the other side. Bring the other leg in front. Coming into that right angle, either elbow to knee, lengthening through the side body. So the skin of the hip is traveling up to the armpit. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is in. If you want more depth, Arms on the floor. Now we're working on rotation, rotating the breastbone towards the ceiling. Chin in line with your upper shoulder. Come back up. One, two. And make sure your front heel intersects with your back arch. Warrior two. Right, you got bone all the way. Arms up. Now left arm under right, and interlock any way you can. Bring the forearms away from your face, elbows lifting up. Chest lifting, slightly turn, spine lifting, and leaning back. Keep on breathing. Don't come up, stay low, but lift yourself up. So you're sinking and lifting at the same time. Center. We are two arms on the ground. Take your legs back. So down, up the inhale. Exhale, don't do. Right leg in front, arms up, palm together. Nice deep inhale. Arms on the ground. Take your legs back. So down, up the inhale. Exhale, don't do. Left leg in front, arms up, palm together. Arms on the ground, take a leg. Go down, up the inhale. Exhale, down. Take a child pose one more time. Down, arms extended. To get all five fingers, four fingers and thumb on the floor, pressing into the web space of your thumb index finger. Then spin your armpits towards your face. Come to high tonight. Keep that torque you have, biceps forward. Bring elbows down on the ground and interlock fingers or not, they're all work. Walk forward with your legs all the way. Find the place you're comfortable. Keep on breathing. Walk back again. Come to high plank pose again. Roll yourself down, come back to up dog, take it back down again to downward facing dog. Bend knees, knees down on the ground, sit on your heels one more time. Come up, reach up for the ceiling, little pose. 
So maybe if you want to encourage more stretch, you bring your bum between your heels. If you have a book or a yoga block or something, a pillow, you need to encourage the depth of the stretch slowly. Sit on something. Arms down on the ground. I'll pull the rug under it and attend it to all the way to rabbit pose. Okay, so rabbit pose, you want the very crown of your head on the floor. Not your forehead, but the crown of your head. Now don't look around, just try to listen. Reach back and grab the arches of your feet. Walk your knees to your forehead. Right, let's hold them. Squeeze your heels together. And then taking weight off your neck, you're gonna pull on your feet with your hands as you rise your bum bones up. And you get to give your stretch uh, focus and inhale, lift the bum bones. Exhale, hold. If there's room on your next inhale, continue into the stretch. Exhale, hold. Keep squeezing your heels together as you pull on your arches of your feet. In a forward bend like this, to get the spine to open more, contract your core. Pull your abdominals up under your ribs. Hold it for two deep breaths. Guys, sit on your knees, arms extended, pull up on the ground, on the right line pose. And don't Come forward, always sit on the ground, you're going for both, or you can jump to it, or just sit on the ground, lift off the ground. Again. Modification, you can put your heels down with on this lengthening of your spine, 45 degrees sit. Maybe you start to lift one heel up, ankle in line with knee, maybe both, maybe straightening your legs, squeezing them together. Cross your legs, you're going to take it all the way to high plank pose again. Then sit down, up the hip, exhale down. I'm full of the things as well, right? Down the ground, both folks. Remember, we're trying to find peace in an awkward situation. That's really what yoga does. Challenging the brain on how, as it gets intense, how we can calm it through exhale, inhale, and maintaining that, that struggle. So you might not be where everybody else is, but you're still working through that, and so is everybody else, no matter how flexible they are. They're still working through their junk. Cross your legs, back to high neck. Step you down, up the knee. Exhale, down. I'll do this one more time. Come forward. Sit on the ground. Take off the ground. So soft on yourself. You know, if you have to modify the posture to find your breath, then that's where you go. You don't just tell yourself to hold your breath so you can look good, right? Take it down and you work on you're sensitive to yourself, right? You're focusing on your breath first. Cross 
के लिए स्ट्रॉन्ग पैकेज है Arms open, what you do is keep your front knee straight, back leg knee straight, reach forward, back leg off the ground all the way. Don't take a half move. Looking down is an easier way of keeping the balance. Keep your top to the left. Now look up at the thumb up there, it's a lot more challenging in this book. So in that swing leg on top, play massive roll, reaching up constantly for the seat, constantly to find that, and that's what exactly you need. With the power of index finger on top, come up all the way, you got it. Put down on the ground, arms on the ground, keep your legs back. Slow down, up the head. Exhale, down there. Other leg in front, arms up on the ground. Arms open, we get two. Keep your front in the street, back leg in the street. Push forward, back leg off the ground. Keep the top of the leg you're standing on your knee cap, lift upward, index finger on top, reaching up, all the fingers reaching up to the feet. Keep your palm open on top, and just squeeze it. Power of index finger on top, come up. The way on the ground, they do this. Slow down, up again. Exhale, down. I'm going to work on the legs of the left, but just mobility on the joint and collapse a little bit. So walk over and jump over, keep your legs open. Keep on breathing. Wrong, walk to your left side all the way. You can anticipate the next thing that's coming. You can enjoy where you are. If you're slow to move in and out of postures, that's better than being too abrupt and too fast. Your center. Lift your toes off the ground on your heel. Open your legs a little more. Hold this pose or just take it to the side, both side open. So one, come forward first, readjust yourself. Uh, turning to the side, you were already there earlier. So if this is too much for you, you know, you can bend that back leg knee and work on slightly arching the low back, lifting the bum bone, and of course, spinal length first, right? But it stays flat and active. And you can start to slowly stretch that front leg forward more. And then just working on that back thigh leg. Just 
folks you know, and keeping the spine upright rather than the groin towards the floor. Don't overly rotate that back toe in, keep that back toes reaching back, pressing along the um, long big toe bone on the top of the foot. Always good time to practice torque of the arm as it supports you to lowering down, biceps spinning forward, shoulders rolling back and down, chin in. Back to the center again. We adjust your leg. Walk toward the other leg all the way. the center. Keep your toes up, open a little more. So this could be quite a vulnerable stretch for a lot of people. We're covering a lot of emotions into these deeper, bigger joints as we stretch. It's good, it's just realizing what's going on. Side opening to that front side. So just take it to the level that you can take it to. Right now, we're going to focus on this front hamstring stretch, if that's where you need to be. As you start to feel that that's opening for you, you can slide that front leg more forward and just start to come down. As you stretch your back quad, Inner thigh, front hamstring, inner thigh. So I mean, many people that can do many other different cool things. The body is just more supple. But really when we do yoga, it's just to recognize what kind of gut is stored and slowly starting to release that out or be conscious of it as it comes forward to the clock. Avoidance is not so good, right? So you calm the mind to breath, inhale and exhale as you're uncomfortable. And sensitivity slowly Center again. Palms on the ground, walking through your legs with your arms. Crown of your head down to the ground. If your legs are too open, close them a little bit. Make for room for your torso to just get fit there. Arch lifting. Gonna sit on the ground with the legs open. Arms up on the ground. Turn to your left side. Go deep down low. And grab your foot, grab your foot. Keep your legs attention and contracting and rounding, and then go back to the length, strong lifting. Shoulders relax and lower down. Abdomen and chest lengthen down your front, thigh and shin. 
and by God's blessing, on your phone here, turn to the other side for the download. Talked about a stable base for the scratch. So as I'm leaning towards my right leg, I try to keep my left thumb bone on the floor. There's my stable point. I'm stretching away from that point. Arms on the ground, walk forward all day. In this one, if you can try to kind of lift the bum bones back and up, not too much sitting on them, coming more on that inner frontal edge of your pelvis, keeping your ankle and knee in line and your ankle flat. Bring your legs together, bend your knees, close and knees on the ground, arms behind you, arms on the ground. Drop your legs to your back, try to all this. Try to really bend up, lift the chest up. Maybe you can drop the head back. Take advantage of a little bit of a back bend to your upper torso. Take advantage of a nice shoulder opener as you spin your biceps forward. Come back up, take them to the other side. A lot of tension on the wrist, that's good. Maybe you can't press your palms down yet. Maybe you can. Maybe you can rock more into the pads of your scissors. Come back up to your center. Extend your legs forward. On top of all the hips. Fall forward all the way. Up again. Off like to your side. That's it for now. See you guys tomorrow again. Well, anybody can make it one more time.